Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jill. Welcome back to my channel for a new video. Today we are talking about spring break clothing hacks. You guys absolutely love my last clothing hack video and so I wanted to make sure to do another one for you guys. And so today I am sharing a bunch of tricks and ideas and DIYs to help get you through this spring break. But really quickly before we get into the video, we are gonna start something a little bit new here on my channel where in a lot of my videos, I'm going to let you vote for what video you guys wanna see next on my channel. So at the top of the screen, either here or here on one of these sides, there is a little eye. If you click it, there will be a poll where you can vote for which video you wanna see next. And in today's poll, it will be either a story time about a crazy friend I had one time who stole money from my family, or testing Instagram life hacks to see how well they actually work. So make sure you go up and you vote in a poll to let me know which video you wanna see next. And while you're at it, make sure that you follow me on all of my social media. I'm going to have everything linked down below. And also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. That way you don't miss the video that you're voting for. And now let's get into the video. Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo with me. So this first hack moves pretty quickly, so bear with me and rewatch the video as much as you need to. The first step is just cutting up to where you want your shirt to be cropped to on both sides of your shirt and make sure that it's even. I just did that by sort of folding up and seeing until it was completely even. And once it was, you're going to go ahead and flip your shirt over and you're going to cut off that same amount from the back. So right in that same place that you wanna crop it, you're just going to totally crop it in the back, but make sure you leave the front long. And then you're going to flip it back over and make a few cuts. So there's the first one, and then you're just going to go ahead and flip it over and repeat on the next side. That way you get an even cut. Basically, you're just doing like a little, almost half oval shape on the shirt. And once you have that done, you're going to keep it fold it over like this and just go ahead and cut straight up and do another shape similar to that. And that should create two little strings that you can use to tie your crop top. And then all you need to do is slip it on, tie it however you want, whether it be in a bow or just a knot, it's totally up to you. But this is a great way to make a shirt that was maybe too long or didn't fit the right way, fit perfectly and be perfect for spring break. So one of my favorite spring trends is just buying men's shirts in medium and then going ahead and wearing them as a dress. And you can trim them up if you need to, but my favorite trick for making them look a little bit more fitted and less baggy is just rolling the sleeves. Now, this obviously doesn't do that much, but it's just something about it that makes it look much cleaner and more put together and not like you're just wearing a giant t-shirt, which obviously you are, but this is seriously the most comfy way to dress, especially when it's scorching hot weather outside. So if you're gonna be somewhere hot for spring break, this is the trick for you. So this one may be obvious because pins are the most trendy thing ever right now, but you can find so many cute ones for super inexpensive online at Brandy Melville, Forever 21. You name it, you can find it. I have these and I added them to my shorts and I just think that they look seriously so adorable. Like they just add a little pop of color, a little bit of fun, and that's exactly what spring break is all about. This next hack has been my go-to for years now and is perfect for spring break nights. So if it gets a little bit chilly, all you need to do is throw on a pair of knee-high socks. Not only are these super cute, super trendy, they're almost a little bit sexy too. Um, it also will keep you really warm. So you can still keep those spring break vibes by wearing a dress or a skirt or shorts like I am here, but keep warm because we all know that it can get a little bit chilly at night no matter where you are. You play the front, I play the back. Next one is a little bit unconventional, but to stop razor burn, all you need is your deodorant. So you can just run it along your bikini lines after you're done shaving them. And it helps to moisturize them and prevent razor burn from popping up in a few hours. I thought this trick was really cool and actually worked really, really well. I was pretty impressed with this one. Just make sure that you wipe it off with a disinfectant wipe when you're done. Okay, seriously guys, let's be honest. Feet can get a little bit sweaty and shoes can get a little bit stinky in warmer weather. So all you need to do to freshen them up is just go ahead and throw some dryer sheets in there and then they're going to smell fresh and new and ready to wear. 
that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That way I know that you want to see more videos like this. And I also want to remind you to vote in the poll up there. That way I know what video you guys want to see next and I can make sure that I'm making content that you guys really want to see. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.